Very excited to have Jordan Powers joining us this morning from the Des Moines Art Center. And first and foremost, Jordan, we want to remind everybody the Art Center is open, correct? Yes, it is. Thank you so much for having me on this morning. The Art Center is open. We are ready for visitors with several safety measures in place so that everybody feels safe and comfortable to visit. Um, the biggest key is we are requiring, our admission is still always free for all, but we are requiring free tickets. So you can visit DesMoinesArtCenter.org. You can reserve tickets in advance, or we have a same day option so that you can book them um, right on your way to the Art Center when you visit and um, come on through the galleries. I love right. hearing that. And as many families are, you know, more home for the holidays, oh, what days and hours are you looking at so people know when they can come out and visit for absolutely free? Absolutely. We are open Tuesday through Sunday. So Monday is the only day that we are closed. That's when we do a deep clean of the building. Um, but we are open Tuesday through Sunday. So you can come um, during the week on the weekends. Thursdays, we're typically open a little bit later. Um, check the website for holiday hours, though. We're changing things up a little bit so that our staff can spend those holidays with their families. But again, Wonderful. tickets are free, but you just need to get a ticket just to keep uh, an eye on the number of people that are going through that. That is awesome. But you have so many great exhibits there, don't you? We do, we do. It's it's really exciting. Our major exhibition right now is an exhibition called Black Stories. And that is, is more than an exhibition, it's really a community project. It was curated with two local artists, Mitchell Squire and Jordan Weber. And they actually selected works from our permanent collection that are by black artists. So it's really a celebration of the artists that we have in our collection. And it's an incredible exhibition that ranges to everything from modern contemporary art to African artifacts. Um, and that is an exhibition that's also a project of telling stories. So we invite our visitors to come in and walk through this exhibition and really experience this artwork. And then there's opportunities to share your stories in response to the exhibition and those stories will be published in a book after the exhibition closes to honor all of those that have helped make this possible. So it's a really exciting, um, interact, more interactive exhibition than people might be used to. Yeah, and it's getting quite a buzz uh, around the community and beyond. Another thing I want to point out, Jordan, is maybe people still don't feel safe visiting the Art Center in person. You guys have virtual tours, correct? We do, absolutely. That was one of our big projects, um, you know, really back in March when, when the pandemic kicked off and we were really lucky to be able to partner with the EMC insurance companies to, to make all of these virtual exhibitions a possibility. So right now at DesMoinesArtCenter.org, that like, exhibition I just mentioned, Black Stories, is on our website. So you can, from wherever you are, on your phone or on your computer, click through that entire exhibition, read all the labels, learn all about the artwork. And we have several of our permanent collection galleries as well, as well as a few past exhibitions that are no longer on display, but you can still experience them through those virtual tours. Now, are you finding that people that do experience their virtual tours, you have piqued their interest enough where they make a special effort to come out? They have. We've seen quite a bit of that. It's been a really fascinating thing. You know, we've had some of our, our quote unquote regulars come in and say, you know, I was so excited that when I didn't feel safe, coming in physically or when we did have our doors closed earlier this summer to be able to walk through those galleries that bring them so much comfort and bring them so much happiness. And then I was hearing from friends and family all over the country that have never been to the Art Center, maybe never could come to the Art Center, saying, I was so excited to be able to click through and, and, and learn a little bit about the Art Center from, from states all over the, the country and uh, honestly some countries all over the world. So it's been really exciting to see that accessibility and really to see the Art Center shine. Um, in a broader way. Yeah, it's pretty amazing how uh, in a virtual world we are kind of coming together uh, beyond our normal borders. Uh, let's talk about, since we at the top of this segment said we love to celebrate local and great things that are going on, you guys have a reason to celebrate because you received the 2020 SECAC Award for Outstanding Exhibition and Catalog of Contemporary Materials. Tell us more about what's going on, Jordan. Yes, absolutely. We are very excited um, and a shout out to our associate curator, Jared Ledesma. This was uh, his exhibition that he, he really put together. Uh, Queer Abstraction is an exhibition that we hosted from June to September of 2019. And it was an exhibition, it's the first in the Art Center 70 year history to focus on queer sexuality and gender identity. So it really took a lot of these stories and a lot of these artworks that have kind of been off to the side and not really put in the spotlight. And, and Jared really um, designed this beautiful exhibition, a group exhibition of artists um, who came together and created just a phenomenal set 
of artworks for this exhibition. Um, and it did, it, CCAC is a, a wonderful national nonprofit with an 80 year history of arts education and research in the visual arts. And it is a huge honor to receive such an amazing award from such a, a renowned organization. And that was the exhibition that was there in 2019. Ended up going, what, what it went to, went to Kansas City after it was here in Des Moines, is that right? It's, Went to the, the Nerman Museum of Contemporary Art in uh, Overland Park, Kansas, yeah. after it was at the Art Center, yes. Well, congratulations. It's amazing when our local organizations get recognized in such a beautiful way, and we know more great things are to come, especially with the current exhibition with Black Stories that we want to make sure people know they can go out and watch. One other thing I wanted to hit on this morning, Jordan, it, it looks like classes are still happening, and you're able to do that in a socially distant, safe way. Can you talk a little bit about that this morning? Yep, absolutely. And that was going to be one of the things that I wanted to mention, especially it makes a, a, a great opportunity if you're looking for those last minute holiday gifts. Um, we have Art Center gift cards that can be applied toward those classes. So that's really exciting. Our next round of classes start at the end of January and the vast majority of them will be virtual. So that makes it incredibly safe and able to social distance. So material kits are available for most classes, especially children's classes. Everything from painting and drawing to calligraphy to photography, all of those classes that people are used to being able to take at the Art Center are being offered in a, a virtual manner via Zoom. So that's something that we're really excited to be able to continue that educational opportunity. And then there are a handful of adult classes that will be on site, things like jewelry, ceramics, um, things that make it very difficult to do from your house if you don't have a pottery wheel and kilns to fire clay pots and all those things. <laughs> I mean, everybody um, doesn't have adult a- classes, <laughs> Adult classes only. Um, so we have safety and social distance in, in place, math requirements, et cetera, to make sure those clay classes are as safe as they can be. But well, everybody doesn't have a kiln at home, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, you would think, but I guess not. <laughs> How do they get more information on all these things? All of these things are available from the virtual tours to the classes. Um, our shop is another great place to pop in right now for those last minute gifts. Everything is available at DesMoinesArtCenter.org. Well, Jordan, uh, it's our delight to highlight amazing places that we have in our community and the Des Moines Arts Center is definitely one of those. So thank you for joining us this morning. Happy holidays and we look forward to more amazing exhibits with our Des Moines Arts Absolutely. Center. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me thank and happy you. holidays. You too. Thank you.